What's up, Capstone family? This is Ed Drummond with Capstone Realty Professionals, and I'm coming with you today, 6-12 Friday. It is June. Hey, just wanted to give you a quick shout, and first and foremost, um, so last week, the video I put out um, where I was talking about the market and everything that was going on, um, well, scratch all that, because this week completely changed. And again, uh, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's happening. Any other time in history in my real estate profession, even during the time when short sales were happening, you could still tell what the market was going to do or where it was where it was changing, how it was changing from week to week. You could see it. You could see the trends. This week, I was really, really, really surprised by a few things. Okay, so first, last week I brought up the um, appraisals and how we had two properties that didn't appraise. This week, on the opposite side of the spectrum, we are starting to see properties that are not needing appraisals at all. They're doing appraisal waivers, which is amazing, which means that some of these properties that may be priced a little bit higher, if there's an appraisal waiver, you know, there's no appraisal needed, which is awesome, which means that a lot of the buyers that are coming to the table actually have more money. Um, people, you know, you don't get an appraisal waiver on uh, a loan where somebody needs down payment assistance. And where, where you're seeing that is with people that have sizable down payments and they're bringing, you know, enough down to where the bank doesn't feel like they need to worry about it. And that's what we're seeing. I mean, we saw it twice this week, which is pretty amazing from the opposite end of the spectrum 10 days ago to now. Um, that's great. So stats from the market right now, we've got active listings. Check this out. Uh, we went down last month we went from 18,200 listings on the market to 165 so i mean we had almost a 2000 2000 you know decrease in properties on the market from last month to this month which was huge people came out in droves uh, buyers agents right now are talking about this being another frenzy it's pretty amazing um, last year at the same time just for reference we had about 21,500 homes on the market. So we're off that number by about 5,000. However, you know, if you look at the stats for what's closing, um, we're looking strong. We're stronger than we were last year. Um, we are appreciating at a slower rate than last year as of right now. Um, last year was about 5.2, now we're at five, but we're close. Um, and that again is for Phoenix Metro as a whole, all the MLS data. If you're wondering where I grab this data from, uh, there's a service called Cromford Report. Uh, there are some uh, uh, some people who put this information together. They basically aggregate everything from the MLS and put it into a nice, easy format that's easy for me to read. Uh, so I don't have to spend time going through the MLS myself and spending maybe too much time doing that. Well, cool. Hey, just wanted to let you know. Also, um, we are going to start rolling out self showings on the rental side. So on the rental side, you're gonna we, we've had challenges with getting people through houses fast because we've got to be so concerned about how many people we actually let through now, right? So in this, what we're doing now, and we're, we're testing this out, but everything is pointing to self showings. Uh, the boxes are ordered. Some of you have already been talked to about this going on your property for this next, uh, this next change in uh, tenant from one to the next. Um, and it will be something moving forward that we're gonna do on some properties. Uh, it won't be for all of them, but there will be a high percentage of our rentals that do fit into the category that could benefit from it. We hope you are great. Hope you all have a great weekend and uh, look forward to connecting with you again. Thanks.